Auto sale life. Fresh start. Is it going to be a win or a bin? Let's have a quick read through of the description on Steam. Build an automotive empire. Buy, sell and customise cars to create your own brands and showrooms. Become a shrewd entrepreneur in this immersive car trading and customization game. Well, the name in itself is horrific and to be honest with you, the game only gets worse in my view. You start off in your house, uh, it's all asset flipping stuff, it's just terrible and then you leave your house, that's part of the mission, you get into this car and then you get told to drive somewhere and the whole thing just looks cheap and tacky and I'll come into some more detail about the things that are bad so I won't go into it at this point but um, and then you end up going to your car showroom that you presumably own and then you get arrested then there's a small scene in a prison where you have to randomly walk around for no reason and get your dinner and it's all ridiculously pointless then you leave prison and then you end up with this shack in the middle of town and you apparently have to go and buy your own showroom and then go and get a car from this dealer and then put it up for sale which at by that point, 25 minutes in, uh, it didn't work. I put the car up for sale, just like the tutorial instructed me, and nothing progressed from there. I don't know if I was supposed to wait any longer or not, but it was just ridiculous. So yeah, it's a life simulator. You're supposed to buy food, rest, sleep, buy cars, sell cars, customise your shop, customise your cars. I've not got into hardly any of that because you can tell right away that this game is just a complete pile of plop. What makes me laugh, though, is the recommended spec for this is the 3060 graphics card. And I had to play this on medium graphics to make it work on my 1060. But you'll see from, from looking at the video, this is absolutely terrible. It's no better than a mobile game in terms of quality. So for them to suggest that type of graphics card to be able to play this game, certainly it's a recommended perspective. They're having a laugh. They, they really are. So positives. Well, this has potential to be fun if it was any good. I mean, the fact that you could be a car dealer and you could have some interesting cars to buy and sell and you could have some great customizations and a great open world these all could because it falls down at every particular stage but it's got the potential certainly as an idea that's only the only real good thing i could think of and the other is just a little bit of uh, jest but the voice actor is indeed morgan freeman let's just have a quick listen to him now the best days of my life ended with a betrayal from those closest to me my job, my fame, my money, all gone. Now it's time to start over for revenge. So despite the fact that the game has spent all its budget on a Hollywood star, uh, they've clearly left no more money to actually do anything good with the game. So the, the bad things, the graphics are crap, which I have alluded to already. It looks absolutely terrible. The textures are awful just no good whatsoever. Sound effects are horrific. If you hit a wall or go over a curb or hit anything, there's no proper noise. Everything just makes a generic bump or thud. The car sounds, cars sound awful. I've just driven two cars. They sound just like little electric motors. So yeah, as you can tell, there's just no effort gone in there at all. There, there's no music, albeit maybe one slight backing track which you have to switch on and then when the track finishes, you have to literally press play again. That's awful. It's not well optimized. I've of course mentioned the 3060 recommendation for the graphics card here. It did work as a say on medium for me when I was getting about 30 to 50 FPS. Fine, it made it run okay. So yeah, you know, that's fine. Uh, but still obviously a negative with it being badly optimized um and the mission seemed to break after you get around to selling your first car so you go and pick up a supposed fiat uno or a tiat uno or something well, i can't remember what they call it something similar copyright reasons that's all fair enough but you know you get the car you take it back to your garage you park it up you go to your computer just like the instructions tell you you put it up for sale just like the instructions tell you the car never sells it keeps trying to make you go back to your computer to sell it it's already for sale as far as i'm concerned 
it's broken, I don't want to play anymore because of the bad things I've already referenced. It's just cheap, nasty, clunky, horrific, dodgy, I don't know, it's just awful. But if it was a good up to that point, maybe I'd have a go, redo it again, and just see if it was me doing something wrong. But because I just found it so frustrating and boring and pointless and just horrific and just terrible all the way up to that point, I don't want to even bother trying again, I'm done. It's no better than a mobile game, and perhaps it will be on the phone. I haven't looked, maybe it is on my phone. I don't know, I don't want to find out, but it is no better than a mobile game. Very unfortunate. Mm -hmm.